Imagine a world where a self-driving vehicle navigates your commute to work on I-270. It's a reality that's coming, and some of the latest technology in that field is happening right here in Montgomery County. All right, so he's releasing the vehicle, and the vehicle now is, is, is driving by itself. Ali is now on the road in Clarksburg, where robotic research is developing cutting-edge robotics technology for the government and commercial industry. So uh, it's a shared ride. Uh, every time that you have a vehicle that has, you know, 12 people inside, it's most likely 11 less cars in the road, right? So it makes a big difference, right, especially for cities. Right, so downtowns of cities and, and so forth, it's much better to do a mass transportation. I mean, there's a reason why mass transportation is there. That what this can do is it can bring mass transportation to a level of convenience that was not there before. Robotic research was founded by Alberto Lacaz and his partner Carl Murphy in 2002. The company specializes in autonomous software and robotics. For the past four years, they've been supplying the military with autonomy kits for its multi-utility tactical transport vehicles, technology that's saving lives. Taking soldiers out of harm's way and put them in a more protected environment. Today, their auto drive kit is in use in communities and cities around the globe, including 30 states and four continents. With just over 100 employees, robotic research develops and tests their software in Clarksburg, the district represented by council member Craig Rice. There's, there's, there's endless opportunities for us here, just here in Montgomery County about ways in which we're looking to expand access to mass transit and this would play a critical role in making that happen. The company has leased the property that once housed CompSat. They were granted a permit from the Maryland Department of Transportation to operate the Ollie in Montgomery County. It transports robotic research employees to and from their second office just up the street. And for now, required by law, there is always an attendant on board. The route is pre-programmed, uh, but uh, as you can see with all these trees, uh, GPS is not always available. So the vehicle has to understand the route and understand the road and understand its surrounding to, to go where we ask it to go and, uh, and do so accurately and so forth. On top of that, it has to figure out where all the different uh, uh, pedestrians are, where all the vehicles are, and respond and plan for them uh, before they cross. Which Lacaz demonstrated on our trip. And as a matter of fact, this is a good point. It does not know that those cones are there. So the vehicle has to basically figure out, hey, the things are not mm, supposed to be here. So the vehicle right now is trying really hard to get back. That's it. That's, that's amazing. The auto drive autonomy kit can be retrofitted to all types of systems and it's designed to drive vehicles on surfaces ranging from urban roads to off-road terrain. They recently announced a partnership with New Flyer to revolutionize public transit by using autonomous buses. In the second quarter of 2020, the company plans to test its technology fully unmanned. Everybody, everybody wins, right? That means that, you know, the ridership is going to go up less cars are going to be on the other tubes. And I was just flying into DCA last night and there's the shuttle bus just for the airport that goes around to the parking, mm -hmm. right? And so I could see the same thing there. Hopping on something like this with my luggage, whether there's a driver or not, it's an automatic route. It stops at every single stop at every single one of the, shel the bus shelters. It's automatic, right? Perfect place for automation. A product designed by Robotic Research is the Paralift, an accessible transportation vehicle that features automated boarding for wheelchair passengers. It's not only convenient, but it also fosters independence. It's the most important thing. Every time you ask a person with disabilities, what's the first thing that you have to worry about is independence, right? So being able to do this themselves is, is a huge bonus. The Robotics Research Campus is the last large industrial site in Montgomery County, which gives them the ability to test their technology. And the list of programs the company supports requires top-notch employees, which makes Montgomery County an ideal location for them. Can you talk to me a little bit about the tech talent pipeline? Because there's a lot of conversations now about folks uh, not only in coding, but also when it comes to technology to where companies are looking for more people with those skills. Are you guys finding enough of those people? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, obviously, uh, getting a, a talent pool up is always interesting. 
yeah. uh, for us. Um, but you know, University of Maryland, it's a fantastic school. It's a lot of close by Virginians, a lot of schools as well. You know, the Montgomery County is, is very uniquely placed in a rural areas and, and open spaces and so forth, as well as the proximity to DC with all the international culture that, that you know you don't find on other places. These vehicles with self-driving capabilities are an increasing reality, one that's likely to grow when vehicles like Ollie hit the road.